got ourselves epic over for the team to did you know that when riding this mount when flying for some reason you lose fps just while flying i don't know maybe they fix it it's a gorgeous mount but it was literally causing performance issues i'm not even sure why i think it's the animation maybe uh, maybe I, I know that people when flying had issues, but I don't know if like just moving on that thing has issues. Liar, liar! I don't even know how to say your name. I guess liar, liar, liar! Fans of fire immediately leaping out of epic, epic playing around with wings. I don't know if he's playing wake of ash wings or if he just like minute wings. But he's got himself quite a bit of damage. Liar having to go for a lasso, getting blasted out. Wall is available. Hammers are flying. The man got the entire tool shed. And he's dropping it on the dude's head. Looks like he's playing for the normal two single minute wings stop playing the wake of ashes wings liar trying to go for the zappers is he playing tempest is that what he's trying to do trying to see if he can get himself those tempest procs as epic just continues to rampage through finally getting some a breather hand or freedom to keep the man running liar finally go for a bit of self healing got himself a knockback but he needs to make sure to remove the hand of freedom as soon as he sees it that bulwark totem was doing a so much work that is the hardest working totem in the history of totems it is so good as an epic trying to see if he could just slam down some damage onto that totem liar walking in he's playing the uh double he's got double ancestor granddaddy and granddaddy or granddaddy and grand granddaddy <laughs> <laughs> Either way it works, right? <laughs> Grandpappy and grand grandpappy. What is that knock there for a second? As Epic got himself plenty of damage, liar super super low. If you got himself another big hammer, it's over, dude. That hammer. I've seen a lot of paladins turn to switch over slowly to a Herald of the Sun, but that hammer is a lot of fun, man. It just stomps. <laughs> It just stops. I think it just lights, man. It just lights. He's knocking those lights out of him. Pally bringeth the light and Pally taking us away with flags gonna be up next. Trying to see if he can get himself I guess a better angle here. Can he do it? Epic Morales charging in immediate steel trap catches him. It, is it actually a steel trap or is it the uh but is this steel trap or is that still a button? Steel trap? Hold on a second. Now I'm starting to question. I don't think it is. I think it's sentinel. Is that what that is? Because I think Sentinel has like an actual trap when you get hit. Like when you get hit for a portion of your health. He is Sentinel. That's why. You saw the little like arcane thing? You can't really see it. <laughs> but he does have a Sentinel down. So if he can keep the Paladin in place, like stun him with a grenade and create a Sentinel Luna Storm, that could do a lot of damage from distance. That's how he's getting those steel traps. Is a Sentinel flank and striking in, but it's going to be stunned by the Paladin. Big damage to follow up. He does have him in the Luna Storm. It is attacking him from the sky. You can't really see the owl, but it's there. It's an invisible owl, but trust me, it is there. That's what's attacking right now. Epic taking lots of hits, but he's got plenty of heat to bring to DJ. Does he have the big hammer right now, though? Looks like he doesn't back it up out for a second. Try not to hang behind the pillar, because he'll just be sending in a Luna shower and almost gets Flex low, but Flexing does survive as he deals damage, putting on a Sentinel debuff on the target. It also creates a shield for him that allows him to get a little bit more of that do damage in order to generate a shield kind of survivability going behind the pillar hold on a second manic bandages you guys were not there for eu go buy actual bandages from the auction house they heal for a ton so if you want to have an easy reset in duels buy actual bandages from the auction house i'm not even kidding you on eu there was a rogue of course like a rogue would find something cheesy right but a rogue was able to basically go from like 25 percent health to 100 if he's able to go behind the pillar no that is the worst part where you're being a rogue he's slipping he's sliding oh quick stunner right after does break out of it very quickly with the human racial where trying to go for a big old killing spree dj cannot avoid it but he doesn't take this much damage from the killing spree quick manic better just so he's got a bit of a heal i promise you that auction house manic better just just a second time oh dude as a rogue this is where like that's where whenever you get hit by a freezing trap as you have a go that's like the internal screaming Every single time. The internal screaming moment, dude. It's a monologue of just screaming. <laughs> As Flex tried to see if he can get his way around um where, but the man just not letting go anywhere. He's stuck in place. Trying to see if your body shot maybe will create some space between the two. Heart putting in. If he can find a way to hold the rogue in place, but the killing spirit doesn't let him go anywhere. Flex is not in a great spot. And I don't think, no, you can no longer go through the turtle by cleaving off of the pet. That used to be a thing. Freezing trap around the corner. Rogue swings around far side. Does end up running into it, I think, because of the coup de gras, which automatically charges him. Finally, the rogue is frozen a little bit. 
and Flex is not in a great spot. Does go for the stun as the rogue goes for a step. If the rogue has no more mobility, no, he gets a grapple hook, so he's fine. Blind to follow. Cheap shot right after. Trinket out of Flex in order to keep himself moving into a tar trip to separate from the rogue. Another harpoon. But he keeps closing the gap with the rogue, which I don't think he wants to do. He just needs to max range him. Trying to go for that chimeric poison. Eventually, it's going to slow down the rogue and reduce some of the damage he does, as well as his healing. Get a shot, but it's so many yard. I think Flexing does take it. Oh, the little bit of damage he needed. He does bring it back. I honestly thought the rogue was going to be able to put a lot of pressure and just keep Flexing from being able to heal at all. Yep. Yep. Same thing happened to the rogue, too. He goes in for a big old kick. Or I guess he was trying to go for a big whirlwind around him. But the freezing trap stops you halfway through. Does catch flexing in a stun. Big old celestial caught with damage. Does get himself a steel trap. But yeah, touch of death. Not steel trap. Scatter shot. But a, <laughs> but a touch of death. Not much you can do. Anabolismo. <laughs> Anabolismo. <laughs> Is that right? Anabol. Anabol? I, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. <laughs> Anabolismo is going to be up next. Uh, full in cap by the monk as he backs up out of the Anabo. Slowly walking over there. Can't do much. That's going to be a quick disable by the monk to slow him down a little bit, which is unfortunate. 30% dampening. A sensei does not really have much to work with here no trinket for a while so it could be a lockdown in a moment try to see if you can get some pressure roll into anabolism knocking him up in the air with that whirling dragon punch which stops the paladin from going anywhere but a shield of it is keeping him plenty of life still burning a trinket either way though did not feel comfortable in that stun that is going to be punching celestial procs for zuen or for sensor right now he needs a zuen proc he needs like all these celestials proc and he really needs a cooldown reduction on that ulon proc with that uh uh uh, uh what's it called Thunderfist. If he can get that together, that could be massive. Knock up again onto Anabolismo. Maybe look at... No, he laid on hands. He doesn't have immunity. He might have put himself up in an unwinnable position. Blind on a Sensei. He has no health whatsoever. Trying to catch up whatever healing he can. Going for a quick clash just to close that gap. Animal. And does go in for a big old blackout kick. Blast Magic going to be up next immediately. Charging on Sensei. Not giving him a chance to catch a breath. Lay on hands is a good move. But at this high of a dampening, 35, 36% is when he used it. That is going to be rough. There's not much you can do in that situation. With Sensei going in for a bit of that Celestial Conduit, got himself defenses. His Blast Magic, try to see if he can live up to the name of Blast of Magic into the guy. Full Celestials are in. Yulon joins in as well. That's going to give him massive cooldown reduction for his major abilities, but cannot commit on those at all. He should have them available. But if the mage could just kite him out, got him so big beam, looking for reversal into a quick interrupt, locking him out of a frost. Blast magic has plenty of survivability, does not need to block this whatsoever. But since they seen the mage running out, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna peel back. Hit him with a slow, I'll peel back, make it that much more difficult for him to chase after me. He's either gonna have to overcommit on mobility and chase after me, or he's gonna hang out on his side while I may recover some healing here. 40% dampening though. And the mage is in combat. His elemental keeps continue to attack and sensei, who's able to at least get a bit of recovery. But Blast Magic cannot get recovery at all. Try to go for invis. Ring of Peace. He's still invisible. Oh, hold on. Sensei thought, okay, maybe I missed him. No big deal. I'm just gonna look for him. Maybe pick up the eye. Blast Magic is just like, quiet, hold your breath. I just tried. Well, how long does this invis last? He's literally gonna go to the anime team room and just try to see them for food. Holy! Wait, Sensei. <laughs> He's like, wait, hold on. Is that our mage or is that their mage? Wait, it's both mages. Hold on a second. I can't let him eat right now. Quick leg sweep. Ice block immediately for blast magic. That is a pretty big defensive. Question is though, does the mage have enough to reverse it here? Because Sensei, he's in a good spot. He's got both trinkets. So you can human racial or I guess normal trinket in case he needs to. He's got karma. He's got diffuse clash with a big old celestial conduit. That's going to be a reversal for blast magic. Locking him out or frost can maybe go for a second block, but he just used it. Hypothermia is going to deny him the block. Knocking him up in air so he can't go anywhere. Missing the breath and sensei taking him out. He just needs one more. And the last one is going to be restrained. Can he restrain Sensei's victory here? Can he slow it down? Can he put him in some shackles real quick here? Because this man is getting away with absolute murder on the dueling arena. He's getting away with it on the stage. Also fantastic mount, by the way. Restrained. Are you playing Life Swap? Might have been playing Life Swap. That's unfortunate because there's no one to swap to. <laughs> Unless he can, like, you know, keep his health at 100% and swap it with Sensei, put it down to zero. That could work maybe <laughs> possibly wait could you could you used to be able to mind control somebody and then life swap them 
was not a thing. Retreat. Unless you disperse, he just dispersed already. Never mind. I think it just might be over. Holy. Holy. Sensei so far has gone through such a hell of a game. At that point, I was just like, I think it's in his... I think the game is in his pocket. Because monks are pretty pretty tough to deal with as a caster like if you're not sure exactly what to do especially like a shadow priest right anytime shadow priest gets ramped up the monk just escapes like houdini disappears they're, they just don't really need to fight the guy let's get us another going